Welcome back to week three of the All Things American Girl podcast. We're starting off with a very special guest, Miss Angela Conisberg, who has multiple Samanthas. As you can see, Samantha is my special guest speaker. She had to be in the camera because she knows that she's my favorite. So, Angela, can you tell us a little bit about your different types of Samanthas and your collection of Samanthas? Uh, well, um, she was my very first doll. Um, I got Samantha for my ninth birthday, way back when there were only three dolls to choose from. And over the years, I have ended up with a total of 12 Samanthas. Half of them were given to me by other doll people or friends who wanted, who knew that I would love them and take care of them. <laughs> so I, I joke that I have a, a home for wayward Samanthas. <laughs> And you do have one of my wayward Samanthas that I passed your way. Yes, you did give me one of yours as well. <laughs> but, uh, uh, I have, uh, this is my original childhood doll, except for, um, she's actually on her third head because <laughs> she's gone to the doll hospital a couple times. Uh, the first time was because I was playing with her and I noticed the hair was starting to hike up in the back under the wig. And my mom called them and was like, she took, she takes good care of her dolls, you know, why is this happening? And they, and they offered to, uh, to get her, um, change her head for free. And that was just a couple years after I got her. And then years later, as a teenager uh, who was still into American Girl dolls, and I was learning about different ways of fixing them up, and I learned about a boiling water technique, which does actually help when you do it correctly, but I left I, I, I left her hair, like I put her hair directly into the boiling water, which kind of fried it. And so I lived with that for a few years because I really didn't want to change her head. And then, um, and then in college, when I got my first secondhand Samantha, who was also from around that period, and I was like, okay, okay, this is making me too sad, I'm gonna send her in. So this head is still, is about, 20 years old now so she's had it longer than she had the first two combined <laughs> but she's not entirely original anymore <laughs> you just want me to just talk about all my different dolls or are you gonna ask um, me talk <laughs> about can you talk about like your white bodies do you have any white bodies um, I do have, uh, yes i do have one um this is my white bodied samantha and she's one that was gifted to me by a mutual Twitter friend. We were just talking about American Girl, and she's like, hey, I, would you like uh, a white-bodied Samantha? I have an extra. I'm like, uh, okay. <laughs> uh, so this is her. Um, she Her hair was actually very straight, but I used the hot water technique to add some curl to it. And this time I did it right, so I didn't fry it. <laughs> yeah, it's hard to find some original Samantha heads these days. Yeah, it, she does have the... Uh, she has the longer lashes. Um, this period, they tend to lose their eyelashes easily, so a lot of my transitional ones and earlier ones have a, a few missing eyelashes. But hey, she was free. I'm not complaining. No, <laughs> that's something special. Can you show us the white body? Yeah. Oh yeah, you can definitely tell that's very different from mine, which is mm -hmm. mid '90s. She's um, she's got a tag in her clothing that says '93, so I'm assuming she's roughly the same age as my uh, Molly, which was from '93. Yeah. Mine's from uh, 99. She's my original OG. And when we um, talk about our individual dolls, I will be showing my white body. She's in her case right now. I'm too lazy to get her. I'll admit it. <laughs> and can you talk about your transitional Samanthas, like the ones that are like um, have gone from white body to tan body? Yeah. Um, my original was one of those before <laughs> she went to the doll hospital. Uh, these two are... Uh, transitional tan bodied Samanthas and they look very similar to the white bodied one I think there's some slight difference in coloring mm -hmm. but when I think that, uh, one thing that's very interesting about these dolls they're from about the same year but their wigs are very different um, this one has a shorter curlier wig and it's hard to see but and then this one is much longer and straighter mm -hmm. And well, like even if you pull her straight, yeah. it's not as long as this one. And you know, and it doesn't look cut to me either. Some of that could be just the way they were cared for over the years, but some of that probably is differences in how they were manufactured. <laughs> no, this this is a, this is definitely a different wig. It's it's longer even if you pull it straight. Mm -hmm. 
And if you oh, yeah. actually look at Angela's doll with mine, they're actually, this is later on in the late 90s. You could tell even the difference in the hair. Like her hair is original. Her wig is originally kept. And you could see that she has like darker hair. And this one is also a transitional, uh, but she has Mattel eyes because she was, this is uh, Sammy. She was the very first uh, Samantha that I was given um, beyond my original Samantha. And uh, her, her original owner let me have her. And she came to me with a lot of eyelashes falling out, and I finally just sent her in. And American Girl called me. It's like, are you sure? You know, it's going to be the, the, the newer eyes. And I was like, yeah, I want her to have fixed eyes. <laughs> so, she, so she has Mattel eyes. But her face is like, even though she's from the same period as those other two, her face looks much like it's a smaller face. The wig feels different. Uh, she also had straight hair that I curled. Ah, you poopy today. Hmm? And can you tell us about the Samantha that I gifted you? Um, this is her. Now you, you told me 91, but she looks closer to a 93, 94 to me. I'm not an I expert on it. I'd have to get I'm not an expert either, but that's <laughs> what the person told me who gave me her. So. Yeah, I'd have well, to have found... somebody uh, tell me what the stamp was. And this one, you know, I can't guarantee, but because she had, when I found her in the thrift store, um, her hair ribbon, her tights. Her tights have a 93 tag in them, so that's what I'm using to date her because it doesn't say <laughs> other bodies of that era. Um, yeah, I have um, so I have a, a Samantha that came the, with tights that said 93. Yeah, you might check the. Uh, well, one thing is clothing for tags that may give you some. Clues. I know that this is not her original dress because this right. dress is tagged American Girl, and this is definitely not a Bentel era mm -hmm. Samantha. <laughs> no, it's whatever the person gave her to me in. Yeah. Right. They redressed her. They had they re they found a new outfit for her. So this is not her original dress. And then um that Samantha that I particularly gifted, um Angela has a special marking bracelet that I only use for my American Girl dolls so that she always remembers her time in New Jersey. Yeah, she gave it, she's got a little beaded. Oh, how pretty. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, so I have a, two of my Samanthas were given to me by their original owners. This is one of the other ones. This one belongs to, or uh, belongs to, I guess. I keep saying, like, acting like I'm going to give her. If she ever wants her back, she can have her. But, Angela, um, you froze. <laughs> no, we've got her back now. We've got her back now. Okay, well, she's still frozen um, on my end. She is. She belonged to my good friend, Lisa. So I call her Lisa Samantha. And uh, I'm always like, you can have her back if you ever want her, but I'll take care of her. Um, she is um, from probably around 94, and I have not recurled her hair, so her hair is pretty straight. Cause I, I, mm -hmm. um, she was pretty tousled when I got her, so I've steamed her hair and everything. But see, she has a, a slightly, they all have different complexions. <laughs> they all have like ever so slightly different complexions. That's probably like... And they, Angela, they do you have... The, huh? It's, oh, go ahead, Becky. It's probably similar to when you buy the yarn and they tell you to buy all the yarn you need for a project if it all has to match because the dye lots are going to be slightly different every time. And that's probably true when they make the vinyl. If you get the yeah. ingredients off just a little bit, you probably get a slightly different skin tone. Yeah, I have so I have dolls from the the whole range of of era periods that they were making the dolls in, and the skin tones are all over the place. <laughs> Angela, do you actually have a shot of all your Samantha's that we could see really quickly? Um, well, they're all here. I don't know if I can get them all on the camera. Well, tell you what, if uh, you've got a good picture of them at some point, you can send that to us, and we can put it on the podcast on Wednesday. Yeah, I do have a. Definitely. I have a picture of all of them. Yeah, that would work great. That would probably be easier for you than trying to assemble them yeah. right now. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Send us a updated picture of the Wayward Home for Samantha's from Angela Conisberg. <laughs> I, ha I have them all in a circle around me right now so I could access them easily. Yeah, we've. Oh, I've lost is, your uh, video feed. Um, are you still seeing it, Nikki? No, I lost her. She's actually frozen. Yeah, I'm not seeing her video feed at all right now. There you go. Okay. I start. I turned it off and turned it back on. Okay, that usually helps. This is. I've never used this program before, so. Yeah, it's it's got a bit of a learning curve. We're still figuring it all out ourselves. Yeah. And this is a Samantha I got off of uh, Mercari, and I call her Curly Samantha because she's the only Samantha I've ever seen with 
all, like, I've never seen a Samantha with this many curls. Like, this is a curly, curly Samantha. And her clothes were dated 93, so I'm guessing she's from right around that period. And, uh, all right. Made this Dorothy dress. <laughs> Well, Angela, you have many Samanthas, and we are so happy that I'm fortunate enough for you to share with us and for being a special guest on the All Things American Girl podcast. Thank you so much for taking the time out on your Sunday um, to show us your wonderful Samantha collection. And uh, keep doing what you do, Angela. And we really appreciate you. Thank you so much for being a guest. Thank you. Thank you. All right, guys, and we will finish recording the rest of this as soon as on Wednesday. But we want to give a great big thank you again to Miss Angela Cottersburg live on the West Coast from the San Francisco Bay Area. All right, thank you, Angela, and we thank will you. see you soon. Bye.